One day in lockdown, I will always remember. A crisp afternoon at the start of December. Getting some exercise before it got dark by taking a stroll in Regent's Park. Went to have a look at feeding time at the zoo when I overheard some voices chewing on food. Oh, bells, said one reindeer to his peers. We've reached that time of year when Rudolph appears with his shiny red nose and his boasting gloat, that he was picked by St Nick to tow the sleigh through the snow. He's so full of himself, arrogant, vain. We never even laughed or called him names, just a classic sob story to make his way to fame. Same. I hate Christmas, said Little Donkey with a sigh. Soon I'll be off on the dusty road for miles walking Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem, carrying the great weight of them. And I tell you what else, I am not able to remain in that stable, the baby crying in the cradle and the noise of other animals. The sheep, ox, especially the camels, always in a grump, complaining their humps and bumping the roof. To tell you the truth, this year I might refuse to go and enjoy this Christmas with my family at home. A bird chimed in next. Mr Robin Redbreast said, I detest this scarlet chest always depicted in the cards, with complete disregard for my voice, my fashion choice. I pick from a whole set of coloured vests when I get dressed in my nest. Best one of all is kept in a special drawer. Purple velvet with a golden trim makes me look much more slim than this crimson thing. What about me? said a voice through the leaves, a partridge in a pear tree. My plight is I'm stuck in this shrub all day and night because of the frightful sing-along song. A cluck, quack, cheep of agreement from the throng of birds from the song. Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and, the partridge in the pear tree added indignantly, what's worse than this curse of a tune? I'm allergic to pears. Get an itch I can't bear. I swear it's not fair. I wish I could be free from this lousy tree. If you ask me, January could not come more quickly. How now, said the cow with a frown. At least you're not found in pantomimes in every town. Those clowns dressed up as me or poor horse. We're forced to be the source of cheap entertainment, with the terrible arrangement that in those beastly costumes... You find not one person, but two. Oh, no, you didn't. I want to cry every time I see a washed-up actor playing by my behind and another my head. Just leave us alone and stick to the bill instead. At least you'll live to see another year, butted in the turkey. I fear Christmas is the only reason I'm here. Most of my kind are reared to appear on the table for dinner. I've tried to diet, get thinner. Be less appealing to eat. I'm already the least tasty meat. So why can't they have a vegetarian feast? And leave me alone to gobble in peace. Well, as you can imagine, I was quite bemused to overhear this shocking news. That Scrooge is not just in films and books. Does not take just human looks. But many a creature, big or small. With a shout over the zoo wall, I cried, Bar humbug to you all! Do you not know how bad it's been in 2020, without all of your guys' depressing negativity? Off I stomped home in a mood, leaving the animals in silence, chewing on food. I know this year we haven't had the conditions for all our favourite Christmas traditions, but hopefully one thing that will persist is to spread love and joy with a wish. In person, text, Zoom or phone call, to every person, creature, big or small, we can still say Merry Christmas, one and all.